Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. HVK all day. Let's get it, man. All right, so the topic of today's video is going to be how retention will make you dangerously stoic, okay? And this is one of my favorite benefits when it comes to SR is that you'll have this carefree, I don't give a, a damn type of attitude, you know? And obviously there's two different types of way of not caring a negative way of not caring and a positive way okay obviously like a negative way of not caring is just not taking care of yourself or not caring about your life or anything like that you know but the positive side of not caring is petty things won't bother you anymore you get what i'm saying like a lot of petty things it just won't bother you anymore it's like when you retain you start building up a lot of testosterone Okay, not only that, is that you become very present in the moment. So, you know, when you're always releasing, you're more in a feminine state. You know, you're more reactive, you're more impulsive, you're more emotional. Get what I'm saying? But SR gets you into a place where you're very, very cool, calm, and collective as a man, as you should be, right? And you become very logical, right? You become more logical and you, you, like I said, you become logical, you're more present and you're more in your masculine ener uh, energy, right? So a lot of things aren't going to bother you, bother you as much like they would back then. Get what I'm saying? Because back then you weren't holding on to that masculine energy. You know, you were more in a reactive state and just things would just get on your nerves a lot more right but this is a great thing to have as a man because it makes you like you know it makes you have like this ability to be able to control yourself right being masculine doesn't mean lashing out or cussing or trying to be like a bully or trying to fight everybody bro you know that's that's beta behavior you know that's basing that's basically doing something off of emotion right but being uh, masculine, you know, having masculine energy, you're able to observe the situation, right? You're, a, you're able to, you know, use logic and then move accordingly. It's like almost like you become kind of like you predict things before they happen, right? That's kind of like your logical side. You could analyze the situation and be like, okay, like, how can I move around this, right? Accordingly. Because there's been times on my journey, guys, where people uh i've run into people where they like they'll try to like bring your energy down right or they'll try to like argue with you or something like that i've had this happen to me before at work I actually posted a video on it um if you want to check it out I'll put the link in the description but it was basically like some dude who got pissed off at me and i was just very cool calm and collective the whole time you know i wasn't yelling back at him i wasn't you know trying to fight him or anything like that because I just felt very like logical right and you become emotionally intelligent you know it's almost like you have a force field around you like this seed this energy is like your spiritual currency man it's your it's basically like your aura you know your aura becomes a lot stronger and low vibrational energies things just won't be able to penetrate through that aura through your energy field that's what it is man it's not just logical it's energy as well get what i'm saying and like I mentioned in my videos before, your energy is basically your spiritual currency, right? You wouldn't give some douchebag just like money. It's the same way with your energy, bro. Don't be giving your energy away to people because it's gonna, it's that's an energy exchange right there, right? If you go back and forth with these people, they're bringing your energy down and then they're gonna leave with your energy. Get what I'm saying? It's like you guys are exchanging. It's like spiritual stuff as well right so yeah man like i just become like you just become very stoic on this journey bro uh you kind of see it on social media too how everybody is so reactive bro like if you ever look at the comments on like any type of video there's always people arguing in there you know there's always like people just going back and forth and like these people don't even know each other and they're just wasting their time bro and it's kind of like a circus it's 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 kind of hilarious to see people just arguing back and forth because that just shows you where they're at, where they're at mentally get what i'm saying and it's like dudes too it's not like 
just women but like i said since since guys the you know the average guy isn't even retaining so obviously they're gonna be more reactive they're gonna be more emotional and just everything is gonna bother them right everything is gonna they're gonna be easily offended in all this bs bro and it's kind of it's pretty bizarre bro because i've I had this one friendship, bro, where it was like this dude, and he had like, um, he, he was just very like emotional, bro, bro, like he was just very like feminine, right? And every, I felt like I had to walk on eggshells every time I was around him. He was a cool guy at the same time, but you know, I had to that, that friendship basically ended because he was just too like, like emotional, bro. And and as soon as I discovered SR, that made me even more like stoic and more like in my masculine frame so like yeah man i just i wasn't dealing with it anymore bro so you know i haven't talked to him since but basically you know this energy that you have guys it just makes you very like stoic okay and i actually had a recent encounter um before this video where i was going to the grocery store right i was going to the grocery store and i noticed that there was two parking spaces like open I'm trying to figure out how to show you guys like there's basically like two parking spot uh, spots open and as i was pulling in i was trying to like go into the second one so when i would leave i wouldn't have to back out of it get what i'm saying so as i'm going through the first one and like halfway halfway in already i was going to the second one this lady was like about to pull in but i was already like halfway through so i just went forward and then um, she got all pissed off, bro. You know, I could see her through the window where she was like saying something. I just like said, what's up to her, right? And then she ended up pulling around behind me and I waited until she got out, right? And as she was passing by my car, I heard her say like faggot. As she was passing by, right? Obviously she said it for me to hear, okay? Um, and then afterwards I just got out of the car um not like right away right like she walked into the store and then i got out of the car and then she was right there in the entrance and you know a part of me wanted to say something like oh do you have something to say or what was that you said right now or do we have a problem you know a part of me thought of that but at the same time my logical side uh, kicked in where i didn't say a word you know i literally saw her right there standing next to the door and I walked right next to her and I basically stood next to her pretending that I was like looking at an item, right? But I was literally like right next to her and waiting for her to say something, but she didn't say anything at all, right? <laughs> she didn't say anything at all. And I just like maintained my frame right there. You know, I was very stoic because I know that I could have easily said something. But like I said, you, you analyze the situation before it even happens because I could have been like, well, we got a problem or, you know, all this stuff. And then that would have pissed her off even more. And then she would have just went caring on me, you know, <laughs> she would have went all caring on me and then would have caused like a scene and all this BS energy, bro, that I literally just went into the store to get like a few items. So it wasn't even worth like, like arguing about, bro. It's like, like things like that, man, petty things just won't bother you as much, right? Because I literally... You know, she had something to say when she was walking by, right? But as soon as I was right next to her, all of a sudden, she didn't have anything th anything to say. And I was waiting for her to say something, but she didn't say anything. So I just, you know, went about my business. But that's just a perfect example right there of how stoic you will become on this journey. Is like the little things just won't bother you. And what's the point of going back and forth? with these people if they're already pissed off as they are right going back and forth with them is just gonna bring your vibe down right they're just gonna like it's just gonna it's unnecessary you get what i'm saying you know i'm not afraid of people right if somebody physically you know attacks me or something you know they could you know we could catch these these holy hands right <laughs> I'm just playing, guys. But yeah, man, like for real, bro, like I, I do no harm, but I take no ish at the same time, right? And since this was this 40-year-old 40, 40 Karen, 35-year-old Karen, bro, with with these uh, leggings and 
and these Ugg boots. Bro, I'm not about to go back and forth with these people, you know. I don't know what, what type of energy they're on. They ain't about to get my energy, bro. Like I said, it's an energy exchange. It's like you giving money to them, okay? I ain't about to give my, my spiritual money away like that. And that's just how you be moving nowadays, bro. It's like negative comments, haters, anything that's against you, it's not even going to bother you, bro. You're going to like laugh almost, you know, it's going to be a joke. You're not even going to put your attention to it because you, you're literally like on a higher level energetically and mentally, you know, you're on a higher level on this journey, bro. Like the littlest things, it doesn't bother you anymore. Okay. And that's a great way to operate as a man because, like I said, it just makes you very cool, calm, and collective because, like I said, being a man doesn't mean to be reactive and to be cussing or confrontational and things like that, you know? You're just sitting back, you know, stoic, just chilling on your throne because you're a king, right? That's what you do. And you're not going to just argue with just people, bro, just because they want a piece of your energy. You know, this is spiritual at the same time, guys. This could be a test. Right. This could be a test for character development. Right. God could actually, you know, use certain uh, people or whatever you want to call it, bro. Like it, it, it's a spiritual thing as well. Like somebody could be used by the enemy or low vibrational uh, entities. That's a bar to try to like attack you or something. Right. And then that's a test right there to see like, oh, how is this person going to react to the situation? But. You know, I passed the test, bro. Nothing happened. And it was all good after that. I just did my shopping. I left. And now I'm just chilling, bro. Feeling good. Right? About to go hit the gym. You know, I got the glow. You already know. <laughs> but that's that's just something that you will notice about yourself on this journey. You have more testosterone. You have more uh, stoicism. You know, things just don't seem to get under your skin as much compared to when you're like, releasing all the time like i said you're more in a reactive emotional type of uh sense like you're more reactive to things and yeah bro that's not good because if somebody could make you emotional they already have power over you get what i'm saying so you have to learn how to um i mean it'll come naturally over time but that's how i am that's how i feel like nowadays where i'm just very just relaxed very cool calm and collective and when BS energy comes my way, I know how to navigate through it, right? I know how to navigate through it. And yeah, bro, don't be going back and forth. Like, you will never see me going back and forth arguing with someone in the comments because that's not the, the type of energy that I'm on. You know, I just keep it pushing. I, I crush through these roadblocks, bro. I just keep moving forward, bro, because life is too short to be going back and forth with people and things like that man like focus your energy on the things that you want to attract right don't be focusing on that all that negative stuff okay so that's why i said it's kind of like a circus it's kind of like entertainment when you be reading comments bro and people would just be arguing like back and forth for almost hours and you're just like what is this bro you know it's kind of bizarre but that's all i really wanted to talk about to be honest is just uh you'll become very stoic when it comes to a lot of situations in your life and yeah so with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace